out to leave so many things. But school has refused to provide us with buses, with um, transportation to leave this place. We know about like almost 50 students that have left from this Sumi uni and um, Sumi to go to Port Hama. At any amount, we do not care. But they have left. Now they have decided to go and block that route. At this point, I don't know what is going on, and we are not going to be used as base. Please, let we us go. Please, let us. The last explosion that happened took place close to my house. Funny enough, I was just Those in my kitchen trying to prepare something. I, I saw how my house shook. Like, I ran away from the kitchen, and it's been very traumatizing. Please, please, we are calling on everybody to help get a lot of us out. We are many here. We are stranded and we are stuck. We appeal to you. Please help us. We are currently being held hostage here as a human shield just to stop the Russians from invading Ukraine fully. We're currently in a hostel called Hostel 3 and we're being threatened and being exploited by, by civilians, being exploited by those who are willing to fight for Ukraine and being threatened by those who are given the opportunity to hold guns. And the living condition is really bad. For like two days now, they've not been water, no electricity. We literally hear gunshot and bomb blast every second. Is that bad? And they keep there is no food anywhere. There's no mode of transport with the snow. There's really freezing out here. So in case we would plead on people out there to see us and get us help as soon as possible. The news is not really giving you the whole detail. We here, we know what we're going through. We know what we're seeing each and every day. We need help. Please help us. 